Welcome to Tech Programming CSIT. Very good evening to all our viewers for joining with us. You all have connected with us through our YouTube channel. So welcome to today's session. In this video session, we will unlock the power of AI. We will discuss about the uses of generative AI and ChatGPT. How we can use ChatGPT as a teaching assistant and as a teaching tool. So without wasting time, let's get started. ChatGPT can be a valuable tool in various contexts, offering several benefits that make tasks easier and more efficient. Here are some reasons why we should use ChatGPT. First is information retrieval. ChatGPT can quickly provide information on a wide range of topics. Whether you need facts, explanations, or insights, ChatGPT can help retrieve relevant information effectively and efficiently. So for example, if you want to ask a question, who is the president of India? Or what is the capital of India? ChatGPT can quickly provide accurate and up-to-date information. Next is for language translation. ChatGPT can assist with language translation, making communication more accessible across different languages. This is particularly useful for individuals who need to communicate in a globalized world. Next is for content generation. ChatGPT can generate creative content, including writing assistant for article, essays, or creative pieces. It can also help brainstorm ideas or provide suggestions to overcome writer's block. For example, if you are struggling to start an essay, you can ask ChatGPT for ideas, or even request, or even request a paragraph on a specific topic to kickstart your writing process. Next is learning aid. ChatGPT can serve as a helpful learning companion. It can answer questions, explain concepts, and provide additional information to aid in the learning process across various subjects. For example, if you are studying for a history exam and have a question about a specific event, ChatGPT can offer explanations or additional context to help you grasp the concept. Next, as a programming assistant, ChatGPT can assist developers and programmers by providing code snippets, explanations, and debugging assistance. This can be particularly useful for those learning to code or face challenges in their programming task. For example, if you encounter an error while coding, you can describe the issue to ChatGPT and it can provide suggestions for fixing the problem or offer guidance on coding best practices. Next is, as a customer support, ChatGPT can implement it ChatGPT can be implemented in customer support systems to answer frequently asked questions, troubleshoot common issues, and provide instant responses, improving the efficiency of customer service. For example, if you encounter an error by coding, you can describe the issue to ChatGPT, and it can provide suggestions for fixing the problem or offer guidance on coding best practices. Next is for idea generation. Whether you are brainstorming for business idea, creative projects, or problem solving, ChatGPT can contribute novel suggestions and perspectives to simulate creative thinking. For example, if you are brainstorming ideas for a marketing campaign, ChatGPT can suggest creative concepts, taglines, or strategies to make your campaign more engaging. Next is for task automation. ChatGPT can automate routine tasks by generating text-based responses. This can be beneficial for handling repetitive queries, filling out forms, or generating standard replies in communication. For example, for routine emails, ChatGPT can generate standard responses, saving time for repetitive communication tasks without compromising on personalized interaction. Next is accessibility. ChatGPT can enhance accessibility by providing spoken or written assistance for individuals with visual, visual or auditory impairments. It can be used as a tool to make digital content more inclusive. For example, ChatGPT can be integrated with accessibility tools to read out text or provide descriptions of visual content, ensuring that digital information is accessible to individuals with visual impairments. Next is collaboration. ChatGPT can facilitate collaboration by assisting in communication, document creation, and idea exchange. It can serve as a virtual collaborator, helping streamline group projects. For example, ChatGPT can be integrated with accessibility tools to read out text or provide descriptions of visual content, 
ensuring that digital information is accessible to individuals with visual impairments. Next is mental health support. ChatGPT can be designed to provide emotional support and assistance in mental health related conversations. It can offer resources, coping strategies, and non judgmental space for individuals seeking support. For example, ChatGPT can be programmed to provide supportive responses in conversations related to mental health, offering coping strategies, resources, and listening ear. Next is for language practice. ChatGPT can assist language learners by learning in conversations, correcting grammar, and providing contextual explanations, making language practice more interactive and dynamic. Next is for language learners. Language learners can engage in conversations with ChatGPT to provide practice vocabulary, grammar, and pronunciations in a comfortable and interactive setting. While ChatGPT offers a numerous advantage, it is important to use it responsibly. Considering ethical considerations, potential biases, and the limitations of AI, it is a tool that when written thoughtfully can contribute positively to various aspects of work, learning, and communication. How we can use ChatGPT as a teaching tool? Using ChatGPT as a teaching assistant and a teaching tool can be creative and effective way to enhance the learning experience. So here are some suggestions on how to incorporate ChatGPT in an educational setting. As a teaching assistant, answering student queries. Use ChatGPT to assist students by providing answers to common questions or classifications on course content. It can help students with homework, assignments, or any conceptual doubts they may have. For example, you can use ChatGPT to assist students by providing answers to common questions or clarification on course content. Let us take an example. How does the concept of supply and demand apply to real-world economic situation? Next, we can use ChatGPT to moderate online discussion by providing prompts, answering questions, and guiding conversation. To encourage critical thinking and participation by asking open-ended questions. For example, you can use ChatGPT to moderate online discussion by providing prompts, answering questions, and guiding the conversation. Let us see this with an example. Discuss the ethical implications of artificial intelligence in healthcare. Next, we can use ChatGPT for taking feedback on assignments. You can generate feedback using ChatGPT for assignments, projects, or essays to provide constructive feedback on the content, structure, and writing style. For example, provide constructive feedback on the structure and arguments present in the student essay about climate change. Next, you can use ChatGPT to stimulate virtual office hours where students can ask questions and get assistance on specific topic. This can be particularly helpful for asynchronous or online courses. You can use ChatGPT to simulate virtual office hours for students to ask questions and to get assistance. For example, what are the key concepts you are struggling with in this week's reading? Let us discuss. Next, let us see how we can use ChatGPT as a teaching tool. Interactive learning module. You can develop interactive learning modules where students can engage in conversations with ChatGPT to reinforce concepts. This can be especially useful for language learning, history discussion, or exploring scientific concepts. So, let us take an example. Having conversation with ChatGPT to explore with historical events leading to World War I. Next is role-playing scenarios. Create a role-play scenarios where ChatGPT plays the role of historical figures, fictional characters, or professionals in a particular field. This can make learning more immersive and engaging. Creating role-play scenarios where ChatGPT plays the role of historical figures or professionals in a specific field. Let us take an example. Imagine you are a journalist interviewing Albert Einstein about his theory of relativity. What question would you ask? Next point is writing assistance. We can integrate ChatGPT into writing courses to help students brainstorm ideas, reinforce their writing, or overcome writer's block to provide tips on grammar, style, and organization.
Use ChatGPT to generate ideas for the introduction of your research paper on renewable energy. Next point is for coding support. You can use ChatGPT to assist students in programming courses by answering coding related questions, debugging and providing coding examples. For example, debug the following Python code and explain the steps you took to identify and fix the issue. Next is for simulations and for case study. Develop simulations or case study where ChatGPT interact with the students to solve real world problems. For example, work through a marketing strategy case study with ChatGPT, considering marketing trends and consumer behavior. Next is for language translation practice. You can use ChatGPT to facilitate language translation exercises or practice conversations in a foreign language. For example, translate the given English sentence into Spanish and discuss any cultural nuances in the language. Now let us see tips for implementation. Set clear boundaries. Clearly communicate the role and limitations of ChatGPT to students. It is important to make them aware that this is a tool and not a human instructor. Understand that ChatGPT is a tool to aid learning. It doesn't replace human interaction or evaluation. So this is a very important point to be taken into consideration. Students should understand how we can use ChatGPT. Next point is for monitor and evaluation. Regularly monitor the interactions to ensure that ChatGPT is providing accurate and helpful information. Collect feedback from students about their experience with ChatGPT. For example, share your experience with ChatGPT and provide feedback on its effectiveness in addressing your queries. To encourage critical thinking, guide the students to use ChatGPT as a supplement to their learning and encourage them to critically evaluate the information provided. So for example, discuss the potential biases in the information provided by ChatGPT and how to cross verify facts. Next is privacy consideration. Be mindful of privacy concerns and ensure the use of ChatGPT complies with relevant regulations and policies. For example, consider the ethical implications of AI tools in education, including privacy and data security. Remember that while using ChatGPT, can be a valuable tool, it should complement traditional teaching methods rather than replace human interaction. It is important to strike a balance between technology and personal engagement in the learning process. Now let us see what is ChatGPT and how to use ChatGPT. So those who don't know, ChatGPT is an artificial intelligence chatbot which was developed by OpenAI and launched on November 30, 2022. ChatGPT is an AI chatbot that uses natural language processing to create human-like conversation dialogue. It will respond to your questions and you can compose your written content including articles, social media posts, essays, code and emails. So first, go to the website openai.com and register for an account with an email address or Google or Microsoft account. You need to create an account on the OpenAI website to log in and access ChatGPT. If you don't have an account, so first you have to click on sign up and follow the prompts to enter your information. I hope you find this video useful. If you have any suggestion or queries, then you can ask in the comment box. 
For more interesting videos like this, please like, share and subscribe to this channel. I hope you like this video. Do give your valuable suggestions and write in the comment box on which topic you want us to make video. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching this video.